Leos, welcome to Sag and Sun. If the crown fits, let's see what messages people got for y'all. I'm, I'm gonna do the same spread I've been doing. We're gonna see how you're being viewed currently. We're gonna look at your current path and we're gonna look at your potential. Okay, so let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. Allow me to channel the energy around my. I was gonna say Libra, I just did Libra. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. My Leo collective. Spirit, what's going on for my Leos? Maybe turn up, turn up. Some of y'all are very uh, captivating. That made me think about my Leo friend. She was like, <laughs> beauty is not even a word to describe. This this girl was so, she passed away when she was like 24. But y'all, when I say she was gorgeous, nat she didn't need no makeup, no nothing. You hear me? Beautiful. And everywhere she went, she was so humble. Y'all, it was wow. It's very rare you meet somebody who's beautiful on the in and the out. You feel me? All right. What's going on for Leo's spirit? How they're currently being viewed. First card is how you're being viewed. What's going on for Leo's? Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. Deep knowing. So some of you guys are very intuitive. 43, breaking down to a 7. You're seeing things from a higher perspective, but you already knew it. Okay, this is kind of like the high priestess card. You already had deep knowing about this, but maybe you were... Because we go through that a lot. We second guess ourselves. Our intuition be telling us something. We get this gut feeling, but then we'll be like, nah, man, that can't be right. Or, you know what I'm saying? So you already knew what this was, but this is how you're being viewed. You're listening to your intuition, regardless of what other motherfuckers around you are saying. Somebody could be trying to persuade you to do something, believe something, but you're being viewed like you're listening to your gut. And that's why I tell people, fuck what I'm saying, what any other reader is saying. You have to go with your intuition because your intuition ain't going to never steer you the wrong way. Sometimes situations look right, but they feel wrong. Sometimes situations look wrong, but they feel right. You got to go on where it feel. Okay, so you have a deep knowing. This is how people see you. Like, damn, no matter what I say, Leo ain't listening. No, because Leo's smart enough with the owl right here. They're wise enough. Okay, maybe they've been through a lot of shit. I don't know. Some of you guys will be dealing with an Aquarius with all these stars or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the moons right here. But let's keep going. This is how you're being viewed. Let's look at your current path. Spirit, what is Leo's current path? What's Leo's current path? By the book. Hello. You doing shit the right way. Okay. Doing it how it's supposed to be done. There's an 11 here. 11 also talks about listening to your intuition. Some of you guys are twins. You're on the twin flame journey. Okay. But you're doing shit by the book. You are currently doing shit by the book. So yeah, you really could have people trying to persuade you to 333 on the phone. Um, 333 says, first of all, it talks about getting mind, body, and soul in alignment for your soul's assignment. But it also speaks about, um, regardless of your fear and your concerns, you have to continue to push forward. So there's a deep knowing. Maybe you know you got to do something. You got to handle something. You got to do something the right way. You got to do it by the book. And I really feel like somebody's begging and pleading with you not to say something or not to do something, but you know you got to. Okay? Let's look at the potential. Spirit, what is the potential for my Leo collective? Observe it. What you observe, the bottom of the deck, time to go. Okay. You got to go do whatever it is. I, I, and you see how these stars pushing you through this door? You're being guided. Something could even be happening at the last moment. Okay? I was kind of getting that in Libra's reading in the nick of time. So, shit, let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Yep, Five of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, could be some 
criminal activity going on. It could be some envy, some hatred. Uh oh. No, I didn't. Yes, I did, y'all. I almost fucked that up. <laughs> I almost fucked that up. Some of y'all could be doing with a Gemini with the lovers, or you just you have a decision to make. You need to make a head over heart decision here. I'm also getting something like you might have to. That's crazy. The decision that you're making might hurt some people that you care about. But you know it's the right thing to do. It's really giving Libra energy. So maybe you've got Libra in your chart. Or Aquarius because Aquarius is all about humanitarian. Doing the right thing by the book. Okay? Spirit, what's going on with the deep knowing for Leo? What is the deep knowing? High priestess. High priestess clarifying the high priestess, child. Use listening to your intuition. Some of you guys are getting visions. There's another 11, 11, 11. Like I said, some of y'all are on the twin flame journey. But um, you could be getting dreams, visions, downloads. Like spirit could be showing you something. Or you just really going with your gut feeling. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. You got judgment at the bottom of the day. Some of you could want to ask someone for a second chance. But yeah, you're currently being viewed this way. Like even no matter how wrong it look, it feel right. And that's what you're going with. Because maybe you didn't before. Maybe you chose what looked right. Even though it didn't feel right, you're like, but this is how. Maybe Because you know some people have a fucked up perception of what love look like. How does it look? Tell me how love look. You got to go on how that shit feel. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's look at the, by the book. What are you doing by the book? Because this is the current path. What's going on? Shit. Oh. Two of Wands in the reverse. You could be going back to something. I don't know why I'm getting it took because the two of ones in the upright is you planning to planning your next moves. But remember, I said the first time you didn't choose the right thing. So some of you guys could be going back to something. Um, let's keep going. Page of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. Hold on, we got another one in the Page of Wands. So, um, I feel like you're doing some self-care. Maybe you've been inspired by someone with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is good news. But you see how you got two observer cards out here? Maybe you've been watching motherfucker way too long. And it's time to do something. Time to go. What the cards say? It's time to go. Okay? Look at you. Just watching, watching, watching. Watching, watching. It's, it's getting a little creepy. How long you gonna watch? God damn it. Maybe you're that type of person you got to be for sure. You got to be 100% for sure. Um, there could even be some gossip about the situation. Page of swords. Or you could be learning. You could be in that student energy learning something. I really feel like something doesn't look right, but it feel right. And you could have been hesitant. And so because of that, you could have chose another path. A different path because also the two of ones in the reverse it talks about making the wrong decision it really ain't no wrong decisions because our roles lead to wrong if you if you go the wrong way trust that there's a lesson down that path that's how i like to look at it you know what i'm saying when when you fuck up in life it's, it's not a failure it's just an opportunity to learn it's all on how you look at it you see what i'm saying so that's what done happened here. And now you want to do it the right way. You want to do things by the book after them after them fucked up the situation. Okay? Yeah. The lovers, choices. Maybe y'all had choices in love. Okay? Now you got the temperance right here. You ready to bring some balance to a situation after being stubborn, Knight of Pentacles, or because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. Like I said, how long are you gonna watch a motherfucker? Huh? So you got the tower here with the Queen of Wands. So now I feel like the Queen of Wands is very confident. I feel like you're gonna get the confidence out of nowhere to just fuck it, just go in, right? With this time to go, you're just gonna go in and do something. Cause some of you guys may want a second chance with somebody, 
Um, or I was getting in Libra's reading, which I don't see that here, but it could be. Um, somebody could have seen some injustices happen. Like somebody could have been confused, yeah. Eight of Cups in the reverse, going back. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Some type of deception has been revealed. Mm hmm Because I was getting early, you might end up hurting somebody that you love by doing this. But it's the right thing to do. People around you could be telling you not to. What I say, justice in the reverse. This is an injustice. You saw an injustice happen. Mm -hmm. you're, you're watching it. Maybe you've been turning the other cheek. Um, now, Queen of Pentacles could be a spouse. You could be watching your spouse do something fucked up to somebody. Or a mother figure. You're watching it. Page of Swords. You got information. And it's an injustice with the justice in the reverse. And you're being called to do it the right way. Bring balance here. You, you really might want to go watch Libra's reading. Because Libra is the justice card in the upright. But some type of injustice is either happening now or has happened. And you, you know it's not right. You know, 1144. But you got to listen to your intuition here. Maybe you went and got uh, with the Page of Swords. You could have went and dug up your own information. Some of you could have even hired a in private investigator because you felt like something wasn't right. Somebody could have been trying to tell you that um, some negative stuff about a person. And you could be like, man, it just don't seem right. Don't seem right. Th them feelings you're getting, that's the intuition. And oftentimes when we ignore those gut feelings is when we fuck up in life. But like I said, it really ain't a fuck up. It's a lesson down that path. The lesson of listening to your intuition. So some of y'all may have made a different choice in the past. And I feel like you have watched an injustice take place. Or maybe you feel like you did somebody wrong. And now you want a second chance. Some of y'all need to make something right. Which is why by the book is here. You're being led by your if, look at this if you if you think of elephants they're very intuitive which is why you have the high priestess and the deep knowing here so someone's leading someone is allowing their intuition to lead them you could be the leader of a group okay um if you look at this elephant you see that face that's spirit's face so this is telling me you got the spirit of a warrior in you well, yeah, Leo is like the king of wands, a visionary leader, whether you are a man or a woman. And so this injustice that has taken place, you have to, you, you need to find the confidence. I do see you finding the confidence. The queen of wands is all about being confident in oneself. And the tower here, I see you finding the confidence to speak out about something after a long time of not doing anything but watching. Maybe you had to dip, you know, you had to get up the information to prove something but this is you bringing balance temperance okay the temperance is all about balance peace harmony restoration this is you bringing balance to a situation uh, injustice here and you could be scared to do that you know but there's no need to fear because spirit is leading you that feeling that you keep getting like, I got to do this. That is the most high God leading you to do whatever this is. Okay? Bottom of the deck. Uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Mm. You really could have just, you know, treated somebody bad in the past. And you want to make it right. Let's straighten it out. You and me, baby. What else, spirit? The will of fortune in the reverse. Somebody going through some bad karma because of what happened. Got the Ten of Pentacles here, the King of Cups here, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. 
with the seven of cups. Maybe you want to reconcile with somebody. They could, I mean, this could be family or, you know, something could have something to do with money. Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Cups is celebrations. It's also reconciliation. Um, could be somebody that you really love and care about with the King of Cups here. But maybe you listened to family and didn't choose the person. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different for everybody. But somebody going through some karma, justice in the reverse, wheel of fortune in the reverse. And you being called to stand up. Seven of Wands. Some of you guys could be defending someone. Maybe you're defending uh, the person that you really care about to your family. With the Ten of Pentacles here. You know what I'm saying? What else, spirit? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The devil. There's some toxic shit going on. The devil with the justice in the reverse is, uh, and four wands in the reverse. Yes, something coming the fuck down. So this is what somebody invested in based on a lie. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Some of you, like I said earlier, some of y'all are dealing with a Libra. So, you know, Gemini, Sag, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer Scorpio, whoever y'all dealing with, child. You ended up investing um, in that shit based on a lie. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so the four ones in the reverse, that is normally the four ones in the upright. Could be a relationship, could be a marriage. It's about your stability. Well, that's in the reverse now because something's coming undone. The tower's divine intervention. The tower comes in. Anything that's not built on a solid foundation, the tower going to come in and knock that shit loose. And let the pieces fall where they may. Ain't no sense of you trying to pick the pieces up. No, you need to get the fuck on like the cards say. Yeah, it's time to go. All right? Some of y'all don't want to get caught up in something either. Something that somebody else is doing. You don't want to get caught up in that shit. Free your mind. The rest will follow. So, I mean, Leo. Let's look at the situations. Damn, I just put that damn candle out. I wasn't trying to. Yep. Maybe the fire went out in something. Divorce is final. That that four ones in the reverse. Mm hmm It's giving. Y'all know that um I was watching this little thing on YouTube about Will Smith. When he married his first wife, he said he knew deep knowing that he had married the wrong person, but he was, uh, he didn't believe in divorce, right? So Jada walked by, he was in the restaurant with his current wife, Jada walked by and he felt that shit, King of Cups, but he was already in a marriage, four ones to the 10 of Pentacles, right? But he was in love with this person. And like I said, he didn't believe in divorce. So he went on to the bathroom. He looked himself in the mirror. And he was like, will you marry the wrong person? And he's like, kind of like, yeah, I know. Sucked it up. Went on back to the table. Finished life. He said a year later, the first wife ended up asking him for a divorce. The moment that shit was final, he called Jada and asked her, are you seeing anybody? She said, no. He said, well, you seeing me now. Something like that is going on, okay? Somebody could have chose to stay in a toxic situation. I mean, look at the devil. Somebody could have felt chained to something. Uh, maybe it looked right. Maybe there was a lot of money, a lot of stability. I'm also getting that. It's cheaper to keep up. Maybe somebody thought they were going to lose all their money. Whatever it is that you fear losing, you've already lost Hmm? Whatever you fear losing, you've already lost it. People got to start. It's all about perception, man. People got to start looking at things from a higher perspective. That's this four to three. Break it down to a seven. Seeing things from a higher perspective. So, you invested in something based on a lie. Maybe some promises was made um, that couldn't be kept. But 
The only reason you fell for the lies is because it's like this. Whatever energy you put out, that's what you're going to attract. You weren't being authentic with yourself. So you, of course, you were going to attract some lies because you was lying. Somebody was lying about their emotions with the King of Cups right here. Okay. Somebody could have also felt threatened. Um, this anxiety, panic, scared. Because I said this could be somebody's spouse with the Queen of Pentacles. And we got the Four of Wands right here. So somebody's watching somebody's spouse do something to someone. Okay? Divorce final. Maybe this person's trying to retaliate. I don't fucking know. But um, whatever's going on, something got to be made right. Mm-hmm. Go watch Libra's reading. Access granted. Social media, fake profile, hiding. <sighs> legal, magnifying glass on the legal department. You got court, paperwork, file. I mean, the paperwork that was filed could have just been this divorce. And I could have filed for a divorce, separation, something like that. But, I mean, because the justice in the reverse could also just mean a divorce. This reading could be basically saying because someone did not listen to their intuition about a particular person, they made the wrong decision in love, uh, either married someone or stayed in a long-term commitment with a toxic situation with the devil, justice in reverse, and received nothing but karma from that. Okay, and, and it's because they know they didn't listen to their intuition. Now this person could be wanting to, maybe they didn't have the courage to leave that situation. Because I see someone after a long time of not doing anything, tower, queen of, of wands, someone getting the courage to to go towards something. 22-22 on the phone. And reconcile with this person with the three of cups. But for some of y'all, there's some fucked up shit going on, too. Okay, there's children here. That could be why somebody stayed. Free your mind. Someone has ascended. Spiritual path. Awakening. Because like I said, somebody's a part of a twin flame with these 11s here. Mm-hmm. What else? Spirit. So something could be happening in the future, the next days, weeks to months. Triggers. Someone's triggered by something. Someone could drive a white car with dark tinted windows. There could be a name, a car, a place, something that triggers someone. Something could cause a lot of arguments. Okay. This is what flipped over. Interview, ten of wands, and desires. So talk, conversate, get on the same page. Um, somebody's weighted down. Someone could have had an affair too. Like I said, go watch Lee because it says lust, sexual chemistry. But there's a magnetic attraction there. It's an unexplainable pull. There's unconditional love for that person, which is why you see the King of Cups. Someone could even be obsessed with watching. Don't we see this observer? But then there's someone else who's gossiping, someone who's envious. It says petty, jealousy, envy. That's the page of swords, okay? Somebody's about to take a risk. It says gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Someone could have receipts of someone cheating or something like that. Someone's about to reveal, about to confess or reveal. Maybe you're revealing your feelings. Because this unconditional love and king of cups, somebody in love with somebody and obsessed. And there's an unexplainable pull that they can't resist. And they got a deep knowing that that's where they should be. It don't look right, but it feel right. Okay? So then I say it might hurt somebody. Three of swords, crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. You speaking this truth about to reveal or confess is going to hurt some people. Um that you love and care about. 
okay? Family members, friends, especially if you're mad. I'm sure y'all got mutual friends. Yep, long-term commitment. Can't make it up. Long-term commitment right here. And I feel like with this forbidden love, it could have started as a um, third party. Yeah, it could have started as a third party. Someone's focused, yep, on this divine feminine. I already said you are part of a, a twin flame connection. You're fascinated. You have eyes for it. This is who you're watching. With that observer, you're watching this divine feminine. But that's not who you were in a long-term commitment with. So, you could want to reveal to other people. So, who, whoever you're revealing this shit to, yeah, they're going to be hurt. Um... They could have anxiety about that because if you say, for instance, you're the breadwinner, that means four ones in the reverse. Somebody might have to end up moving, downsizing, um, something like that. It's like you're running away from one thing and chasing another. It says running, avoiding. You know what? Another thing. You didn't even have to, well, somebody was in a long-term commitment because it's out here too many times. You could have been running from what you deep, what you already had a deep knowing about. So you could go from running to, to chasing, okay? Chase or high pursuit. I don't know. Okay. Karmic third-party relationship lessons, tragedy, love what's this i told you somebody was three peer point blank and so you got two of them somebody could try to trap you up or you could have tried to trap somebody up with a pregnancy or you know manipulation with the heartstrings or something with money two more people could have been planning discussing to do something that's what i was getting with that justice in the reverse this person that you walking away from is threatened they upset and maybe you've watched this person sit back. Maybe you sat back and watched this person do some fucked up shit. And that's what you're about to reveal or confess. Um, to do things by the book. And then others of you. Are about to confess your feelings to somebody. Yeah, there's children involved. Something's going on in here and now. My hands do it. Something about money is here too. Mm -hmm. Somebody's done the completion. The lesson has been learned. You went down the wrong path. Like I said, it's not really the wrong path. There's lessons, right? Well, you learned it. Completion, lesson learned. So now you're ready to make make it right. Bring balance to a situation. Do the right thing. And you're taking this risk to do so. And I feel like you have people that don't want you to do it. But it, it's like there's telepathic uh, communication going on between you and this divine feminine. Maybe you dream about them, get messages through songs. I mean, did, did twin flame connection be strong as fuck? That's why the card says unexplainable pull that somebody can't resist. Unconditional love. Genuine, certain love. But even knowing all of this, somebody still went against their intuition. Maybe somebody married somebody for money. Maybe you settled for something. I don't, I don't know, child. It'd be different for everybody. Yep, there you go. Um, divine masculine. It's focused on this divine feminine. Mm-hmm. And somebody's spouse being gossiping about this divine feminine. They're envious of this divine feminine. But, I mean, shit. Something going on, y'all. Entrapment. Someone could have uh, had a miscarriage or something. Somebody could be unstable. I don't know. What else, spirit? Yeah. Offer, proposal, commitment. You could be revealing to family you're about to offer. That's this damn Ace of Pentacles right here. Some of y'all could have got a divorce. It says irreconcilable differences, divorce final. With the four ones in the reverse, you could have got a divorce from one person and getting ready to offer commitment to somebody else. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. 
And that's what somebody do not want you to do, child. Yeah, you could be getting ready to pop up on someone that makes you happy. Yeah, there's a spiritual union coming together. Mm-hmm. Or at least that's what you hope will happen. You don't know how this other person feels. Because you ain't talked to him with the history. You ain't talked to him in a while. But that's what I would get with the judgment. I said somebody want a second chance with wish fulfillment, okay? After going within, doing some self-reflecting, um, asking they self, even if this divine fit. See, this is what I be telling folks. When you in these toxic situations, irreconcilable differences, you have to ask yourself, even if there is no one else, you have to say, am I willing to put up with this shit? For the rest of my life. Even if there is nobody else I can go to. Do I want to stay in this situation? That should be the real question. Not who is better or none of that. You know what I'm saying? You have to go within yourself. Because people going to swear. And that could be what this is, y'all. The gossip. People could be telling. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles could be telling folks that this divine feminine broke up. This relationship. But it was already fucked up. When you get irreconcilable difference, that means these people had already broke up before. Somebody, look, it was already over. Four of Wands in the reverse, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, put the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody continued to invest in something that was already over. These could even have been people that had already got a divorce but decided to stay together for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Page of Pentacles in the reverse could also be that someone found out that some a, a child wasn't theirs. Could be some shit like that going on here. Um, I just feel like somebody's making some shit right. They revealing what the fuck needs to be revealed. For the majority of you, it's someone revealing their emotions and that they want to make an offer, proposal, some type of commitment to a divine feminine. But this energy down here, I don't like this energy right here. Because people do crazy shit when they panicking. And I see the justice in the reverse. Okay. Yep. Somebody could be dealing with this. A queen of swords is someone who's divorced. So. Ain't no telling what this person going to try to do. Someone could be dealing with a cancer, Capricorn, a Taurus. I don't know. Child. Yeah. The moon is in the reverse. So. Whatever was hidden is coming to the forefront. No more illusions. No more confusion. Somebody's going towards their happiness. Okay? Somebody doesn't want to settle. Four of Cups is settling. They don't want to settle no more. Wholeness, overjoyed, smiling, and happiness. They want to be happy. Why would you settle? I ask people that all the time. You got one life in this body. Why would you wake up and continue to be miserable? To save face or... Uh, because that's the right thing. Well, how? How is that the right thing to do? The right thing to do is to be completely happy and satisfied. Yeah, you're going to have to make compromises and things like that. And when you start settling, because mm -mm. even what if, some, if somebody was settling for money, at some point, that's not even going to be enough. Somebody wants wish fulfillment, and they deserve it. Whether it's the man or the woman, somebody here deserves it. Everybody deserves to be happy. Fuck that shit, bro. I'm not, I'm not in the business of telling folks to stay in unhealthy. We saw the devil. To stay in unhealthy, toxic ass situation. I'm not gonna never tell them. I don't give a fuck if you got 30 11 kids. I'm not gonna tell you that. I will tell you doing what's best for you is what's is ultimately doing what's best for the children. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Everybody don't wanna talk about that because people have outdated beliefs. Okay, go with your intuition and do what feel right. Okay, and somebody had a deep knowing that they should have been did something. They should have been did it. Let's get y'all a message from Spirit. From uh, Leo, Canadian. Yeah, fresh air. Some of y'all, this breakup could have happened a while ago. And someone could have been just waiting for people to heal. Just trying to give people the proper time. 
I guess. Okay. But Spirit says again, it's the perfect timing. You got time to go with perfect timing for this brand new beginning. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. What's this? Yep, and Archangel Michael's protecting you through this. You're working very closely with a powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. <laughs> and giving you the confidence that you need. Okay. What is spirit? Aries energy and family. Somebody daddy could have been being very controlling. Um I don't know. Tell them, tell your dad if they want you to be in that situation so bad that he can be in the situation they got to himself. Okay, I'm I'm sick and tired of motherfuckers trying to force shit on the people. Fuck all that. Fuck how I look, how I feel. Some of y'all could be having people telling y'all, you need to stay at this job or you need to stay in this relationship. And they don't even care about how you feel. They don't care that you're miserable. They don't care that you always arguing, fussing, fighting. They don't care that you almost had a fucking stroke last month. They don't care nothing about that. They care about how it looks. Fuck that shit, bro. And I know a lot of people don't like when I say that. They can click off, you know. I'm not going to, I'm not. I'm not going to see and tell nobody, you have to be miserable because it look good. No, fuck that shit, bro. Sis, who have this is I'm talking to? So it's the perfect time for you to take control of your motherfucking life. Some of you guys are self-employed. Some of you guys are going to be writing a book, okay? Creative project, mm-hmm, mediumship. Yeah, you need to have confidence to go towards this relationship, period, man. Moving forward doesn't require you to have confidence in, in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. And what did I say you was? A twin flame. So the longer that you stay in the unhealthy situation, it's, you'll start getting sick because you're not in the right vibration. You're surrounding yourself with toxic people. Um, and you have become highly sensitive because we saw that ascension card. You have ascended. You have a deep knowing. So the longer you stay there, it's going to feel like you dragging in quicksand every day. Eventually, you just have to get the fuck up out of there. That's that tower. And some of y'all could have overstayed something that you know you're supposed to been let go. And that's why the towers come through. It's divine intervention. And what was I saying with the Queen of Wands? Having confidence. Spirit, you're going to get a boost of confidence that just come out of no fucking where. Okay? Um, to go towards this twin flame right here. But see, here's the thing. I feel like you are someone who was putting the family before your own needs. Um, a lot of divine masculines do that shit. But right here it says your primary relationship is with yourself and God. Every other relationship follows from there. Some of y'all was putting these family members before yourself and be even before God. You can't do that. Mm -mm, you can't do it. So that was that hermit. Okay. Uh, some of y'all started praying to God so much because of all the stress y'all was under how unhappy you was and just felt closed in, felt like you couldn't talk to nobody because you got all this family telling you, you got to stay here. You got to do, 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 Some of them family was telling you that shit on purpose to see you miserable. Oh, yeah. Okay? The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to heal and understand. Okay? Some of these people, it's just what it boiled down to. They want to see you hurt. See, people don't want to talk about the real. We're going to talk about the real. Because whoever you are, you are chosen to break um, generational cycles. Okay? That's bullshit. You, you got to tough it out. I mean, if you're happy, yes. Make the sacrifices. Tough it out. But if you're miserable and you're sick and you're tired and you, you're being taken for granted, no. Get the fuck out. And, I went, and don't do that shit. I'm leaving your ass. No. What uh, what they say? The truth is and don't need to be explained. When you tired, motherfucker will know. You just simply get your shit and get the fuck on. And there is no going back. That's what people fuck up. That's how people continue to create these 
karmic ass cycles that keep trying. It's gonna be better. That's that page of, of pentacles in the reverse. I promise I'ma do this. I promise I ain't gonna hit you no more. I promise I ain't gonna cheat no more. I promise I ain't gonna lie no more. They were lying when they said that shit. Okay? And maybe with the irreconcilable differences, maybe y'all had already been on a breakup and you met your twin flame, you met somebody new. And the person come back, oh, I promise we're going to make this thing work. And you say, okay, fuck it. We're going to try it again. It's just lies, child. Lies, okay? Yeah, listen, listen. Listen to your intuition. You already got a deep knowing. You knew when you met that person, that was it. But maybe you had to just go try it one more time. I see a bunch of little kids here. Maybe you got about four, five kids. I don't know. Okay? Quiet your mind and listen to the gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Okay, yeah, there's a child here. Maybe you had some abandonment issues or um, there's no confidence here. Some of y'all were scared of your parents. Some of you grew up without parents. Something had you settling. Again, listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body's receiving accurate messages from the divine. And then I say some of y'all was doing a whole lot of praying. Like, God, just help me. How can I get out of this situation? Some of y'all was praying for help. Wow. Mm. Some of y'all could have been... Uh, I don't even want to talk about that. So just know that there's a spectrum here. Okay? Depends on how bad it was. Because for some of y'all, y'all was praying to, to y'all was ready to go on and meet the most high God and how bad it was. And you just didn't have nobody to talk to, nobody you could vent to. People that you thought you could trust was going right back to the person that you're in a relationship with and telling everything. So mm -hmm. Um, it says you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your inner child, require love, affection, and attention. It was time for you to start loving on yourself. Self-care, okay? Um, and then some of y'all were not even in a relationship anymore. You was holding on to what happened to you in the past out of because you hadn't healed from it. You know, you go through a fuck up, fucked up relationship, you just be like, fuck it, I'm just going to focus on work, 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 work. Um, some of y'all could have did that, right? And push the twin away, act like you didn't care about this person because you didn't want to get hurt again. I get it. I did that shit before, too. Everything be cool. As soon as I start catching feelings, I cuss the person out. This was in the past, you know, when I was immature. I would cuss the ass out. Do something to make them mad at me, you know, pushing them away so I wouldn't get hurt. They didn't want to get involved. I was a very complicated individual because, like, I would do things that I really didn't mean. I don't know if I wanted them to understand me. Hell, I didn't understand my damn self, you know, pushing real love away and settling for these toxic, ruthless motherfuckers. Motherfuckers to put you, put beating on you and shit, you know, and then you got a good motherfucker over there in the corner. You don't want nothing to do with him. Yeah, I've been there before. All right, so, Spirit says it's time to go. But what everybody else is saying, it's time to go, and you know it is. It's the perfect time. All right, Leo, that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet, both of them. Till next time, bye.